Intermolecular forces are the electric forces between molecular entities. There are a few different types of intermolecular forces. Four of them will be discussed in general chemistry. First, the force between two point charges, such as ions. Second, the force between a point charge and an electric dipole, such as an ion and a polar molecule. Third, the force between two electric dipoles, such as two polar molecules. Fourth, the force between two non-dipoles, such as two non-polar molecules. The interaction between charge neutral atoms or molecules are called van der Waals forces. So, type 3 and 4 belong to van der Waals forces. Information on intermolecular forces is given by intermolecular pair potentials. A pair potential is the potential energy stored due to the interaction between two objects. The main interaction between molecular entities is electrostatic interaction. Therefore, intermolecular forces are given by the electrostatic potential energy between molecular entities. It is equal to the electrostatic potential energy of one molecular entity in the electric field generated by the other molecular entity. The electrostatic potential arising from one ion is given by Coulomb's law. The electrostatic potential energy of an ion is equal to the product of the electrostatic potential and its electric charge. So, the electrostatic potential energy between two ions is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the distance between them. The force between ions decreases with the distance between them. When a cation and an anion touch each other, the electrostatic attraction between them is called an ionic bond. For small ions, the ionic bond is as strong as a covalent bond. Therefore, a lot of energy is required to break the ionic bond apart. A compound made of ions is an ionic compound. Ionic compounds with small ions have high melting and boiling points due to their strong ionic bonds. On the other hand, unlike covalent bonds, ionic bonds are the same attractions in all directions. Thus, the geometry of ionic compounds follows maximum packing rules, and most ionic compounds exist in the form of a crystal structure. For example, most salts are ionic compounds. In sodium chloride, the sodium cations and chloride anions are bounded with ionic bonds and form an ionic crystal. The melting point of sodium chloride is 801 degrees Celsius. Ionic compounds are usually very poor electric conductor in the solid state. However, they are good electric conductor when molten because the mobile ions carry charge through the liquid. Some salts, especially those with organic cations, have weak ionic bonding because the large sizes of the ions. Thus, they are in the liquid state at ambient conditions, such as below 100 degrees Celsius. These salts are called ionic liquids. For example, 1-butyl-3-methylimidazoleum hexafluorophosphate is a common ionic liquid with a melting point of minus 8 degrees Celsius. In despite of relatively low melting points, the ionic bond is still stronger than the van der Waals forces between the molecules of ordinary liquids. Thus, ionic liquids have very low vapor pressures and have been considered as sealants. An electric dipole interacts with an electric field as well. The dipole is subject to a torque in an electric field and has an electrostatic potential energy. The potential energy minimizes when the dipole is parallel with the field. In a non-uniform field generated by an ion, a dipole usually receives a net force since the force on one end of the dipole does not balance that on the other end. When the dipole is parallel with the field generated by a point charge, the net forces is an attraction towards the ion. An important example of this interaction is the solvation of ions in polar solvents. The polar solvent molecules surround themselves around ions to form a solvation shell and release energy. When an ion moves through the solution, it tends to take its solvation shell with it. Solvation of a solute by water is called hydration. Hydration is important in justifying the stability of ions in water. For example, when sodium salt is dissolved in water, the water molecules surround themselves around ions with the negatively charged oxygen towards the sodium cation to form a hydration shell. A permanent electric dipole of a polar molecule also generates a non-uniform electric field, which interacts with another polar molecule. In the electric field of each other's, 
the dipoles are subject to torques and receive net forces. These forces tend to align the molecules to reduce potential energy. As a result, the positive end of a polar molecule will attract the negative end of the other polar molecule. With this alignment, they have a net attraction. The angle averaged attraction is also called Kiesem interaction. Kiesem interaction is the main attraction between polar molecules if hydrogen bonding is absent. For example, propane, dimethyl ether, ethylene oxide, acetaldehyde and acetonitrile are organic molecules of similar weights and sizes. Propane is nonpolar with very small electric dipole moment. So, its Kiesem interaction is very weak. On the other hand, acetonitrile has a big electric dipole moment. So, its Kiesem interaction is strong. As a result of Kiesem interaction, more energy is required to separate the molecules with bigger electric dipole moment, leading to higher boiling points of them. A hydrogen bond is a special type of dipole-dipole interaction. It is primarily an electrostatic attraction between a hydrogen atom which is covalently bonded to a more electronegative atom and another electronegative atom bearing a lone pair. In a hydrogen bond, the electronegative atom covalently bound to the hydrogen is named the proton donor, whereas the one not covalently attached to the hydrogen is named the proton acceptor. The most frequent donor and acceptor atoms are the period two elements nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. A hydrogen bonding system is generally denoted dn-h ellipsis ac or x-h ellipsis y. The hydrogen acceptor distance is somewhat shorter than other van der Waals interactions, and longer than covalent or ionic bonds. On the other hand, hydrogen bonding is somewhat stronger than other van der Waals interactions, and weaker than covalent or ionic bonds. For example, hydrogen peroxide and formaldehyde have similar sizes and weights. Hydrogen peroxide has much higher density and boiling point due to the existence of hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is also directional, and usually involves a limited number of interaction partners, which can be interpreted as a kind of valence. For example, nitrogen and hydrogen cyanide can form one hydrogen bond with hydrogen fluoride because nitrogen has one lone pair, and the carbon-nitrogen-hydrogen structure is linear. On the other hand, oxygen and formaldehyde can form two hydrogen bonds with hydrogen fluoride and form trigonal planar structure because it has two lone pairs. Hydrogen bonds can be intramolecular. In macromolecules, hydrogen bonding between parts of the same macromolecule causes it to fold into a specific shape. For example, the double helical structure of DNA is due largely to hydrogen bonding between its base pairs, which link one complementary strand to the other and enable replication. Appropriate geometrical correspondence of proton donors and acceptors allows only the right pairs to form stably. For example, in cytosine, the amino group acts as the proton donor and the carbonyl and one amine as the proton acceptors. Guanine has the carbonyl group that acts as the proton acceptor, while the group at one amine and the amino group act as the proton donors. So, guanine binds to cytosine through three hydrogen bonds. It cannot bind to guanine, adenine, or thymine. An atom or molecule consists of negatively charged electrons surrounding positively charged atomic nuclei. When subject to an electric field, the electrons and atomic nuclei are subject to opposite forces and undergo charge separation. Thus, when an atom's or nonpolar molecule is subject to an electric field, it acquires an induced electric dipole moment. The ratio of its induced dipole moment to the local electric field is its polarizability. As a result, an ion can induce an electric dipole in an atom or nonpolar molecule and cause mutual attraction. One example is the interaction between sodium ion and methane. In this system, methane's electrons are attracted by the sodium ion and biased to the sodium ion side. As a result, the methane acquires an induced electric dipole moment and is attracted by the sodium ion. Similarly, a polar molecule can induce an electric dipole in an atom or nonpolar molecule. The angle averaged interaction between a permanent electric dipole and an induced electric dipole is called Debye interaction. Debye interaction tends to align the molecules to reduce potential energy and cause mutual attraction. The ion induced dipole interaction is an analog to the interaction between cat and plastic foam. 
When the cat's fur gets static electricity by triboelectric effect, the electric field of it induces electric dipole moment in foam particles, which is attracted by the fur. The permanent dipole-induced dipole interaction is an analog to the interaction between magnet and ion. The magnetic field of the magnet induces magnetic dipole moment in ion, which is attracted by the magnet. London dispersion forces are a type of intermolecular forces acting between atoms and nonpolar molecules. The electron distribution around an atom or molecule undergoes fluctuations in time. These fluctuations create instantaneous electric dipole moment which are felt by other nearby atoms and molecules, which in turn get an induced electric dipole moment. So, London forces are the forces between instantaneous and induced electric dipoles that attract each other. Because a larger molecule with more electrons is typically more polarizable, a larger molecule is likely to have stronger London forces. For example, the halogens range from gaseous fluorine and chlorine, through a liquid bromine, to solid iodine at room temperature. London forces also depend on the shapes of molecules. For example, pentane and 2,2-dimethylpropane have the same molecular formula but different boiling points. Molecules of pentane are relatively long and rod-shaped. The instantaneous partial charges on adjacent molecules can be in contact at several points, leading to strong interactions. In contrast, the instantaneous partial charges on more spherical 2,2-dimethylpropane cannot get so close to one another. As a result, the London forces between rod-shaped molecules are stronger than those between spherical molecules. Here is a summary of interactions between microscopic particles. Covalent bondings and ionic bondings are stronger than other intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bondings are stronger than other Kesem interactions. London forces are the weakest intermolecular forces in this category. The relative strengths are reflected in the boiling points of substances.